And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to miss the hearers. When I used to go in the office, gather in the scriptures, we're going to hold up the bloodstained banner. You know, we ain't going to stop. memory of our beloved bishop. Let's just put our hands together and give God a praise in the sanctuary. Just put your hands together. Give God a praise. One um, others in the house and to the man who married me just all of the women of God all of us too because I have to big up the beautiful lady sitting right there in the second row <laughs> take the opportunity I was second Part of the Baptist ministry was the church baptized by Bishop Chow. He stand up for what he did. For you to be saved, you must. Like a river, I take. saints of God. Privilege to be standing here. song one verse please all right give him glory come on give him glory come on give him glory that was reverend bb for you you will fill with a lot of give god glory and i remember that i just want to bless god tonight for the opportunity and the privilege to be here tonight with my brothers and sister pastor Jesus christ a pleasure and opportunity to be here to give God thanks and to share um,
Hallelujah. 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 What can I say about the bishop tonight? Our God is a good God. And our God called good men. He called good men. You know, bishop is a teacher, he's a preacher, he's a husband, he's a father. You know, he's a man that knows everybody in his congregation. I know them by name. And if you even a visitor, he knows you. Yes. He doesn't even know the people alone that is in here, but he knows everybody that comes through the door. Oh, yes. You know, so I'm gonna say he is a good man. I have been listening to this man when he was at a parade. And through the years, I have listened to him several times. I was filled in this church. Oh, bless and God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to thank God for his mercy and his grace. Thank you for Bishop Burke. Amen. I say, God, you have been a good God to him. Yeah. And now he's gone, Lord God Almighty. And today, Bishop will say, if you... Amen. Praise God, I must say that Bishop, his God, he was a father to us here. Praise yes. God. And he prayed, and after he finished praying, I said, I'm so sorry to call your bishop at this time. And he said, Sorry for what? <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Call me anytime. Amen. Any one of us can call him anytime of the day. I've been sleeping, so let me call me your pastor. By the time he hears, she said, Give me the phone. And bishop, praise God. Praise the Lord, praise God, God man has been good, praise God, and he carried, he, he, you know, he left a legacy, praise God, and we know we all love him, and he, he loved us, yeah. praise God, praise the so Lord. we'll just continue to praise, praise for the family, yes. and In pray Jesus for the name. Amen. Amen. short and spicy, there we go. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I am glad to be a part of his family. Amen. Yeah. My aunt come to me one Sunday and said to me, say, little girl, <laughs> they're gonna carry you, gonna meet your family Sunday, yeah? Cause you're there here and I listen to you from the radio and y'all know you don't know what it look like. So he take, she take me here this Sunday, and when she take me here this Sunday, I'm here, Praise still God. being here. I wanna say, um, I wanna sing a song. I don't think I'm gonna sing it all out. Thank you very much. Just wondering, yeah. Talk it if you can't remember for singing. Talk it, yeah. I'm just trying to start it. Okay, okay. This sounds like a silent night. What's the name? What's the name of the song? All right, we're gonna let somebody else do it, and when you remember it, you come. Right, right. When, when, when she remembers. Come on, put your hands together for her. I mean, a lot of you're not that brave. All right. Bless the Lord, everyone. Praise. Bless the Lord. Praise Jesus. Tonight. Um, we're here to celebrate the life of Vivian Burke. My name is Patricia Rose, the one and only. I could not come tonight and not 
give my condolences to Pastor Burke and children, Anika, Paul, and Andre. It was indeed a blessing to know Reverend Burke, and I am grateful tonight that my foundation in Christ, Acts 238, is from Bishop Burke. When he explained to me um, the oneness of Christ. I mean, I've been to so many other places, but what Bishop has taught me, what the foundation he has laid within me, that is what I build my faith in. And I'm thankful and I'm so grateful tonight when I came in here. I got saved in this house. I got filled with the Holy Ghost in this house yeah. under the tutelage of Reverend B.B. And let me tell you Praise something. Reverend is such a person that he can just chase you in one voice and at the same time he comforts you he will tell you as it is but he will not and whenever he's telling you anything if you're honest with yourself he's speaking the truth if you wish to be honest with yourself he's speaking the truth if i don't know anything about bishop burke i know he loves god if he's a million things one thing i can stand as a test as a witness to say that vivian burke loved the Lord and he loved him with his very yes, soul. Praise God. You know, I grew up listening to him when he I can't remember the sentence. Stretching across the causeway <laughs> into the sons and bodies of Elsha. I don't know anymore. But, you know, when I think of those things, he has left a legacy and, you know, we can all stand there tonight. Oh, how can I forget, forget the big red when he sleeps and take us to Portmore. Anybody in here knows that when he's going on the toll and he's sleeping, driving and sleeping and taking us to Portmore. Jesus you know, the rest of the oh, glory to God. I am just so honored that that man was a part of my life yeah. and I can stand here not just hearing what somebody else is saying and say, "Wow!" I can stand here and I can say that I am a living witness that Reverend Vivian Burke is a man of God and I'm, thank and I'm grateful that he did his work. He did his work. He did his work because we are all here today based on a foundation that he has helped us to see. A revelation that he brought, he birthed in all of us. Yes. Right? Some of us, we've been here, we've gone astray and we've gone all over the place, but the foundation stands sure. Praise the Lord. And it is all because Reverend, Ber Reverend Burke made himself available to God. So tonight is a privilege and an honor to be here in this meet just to celebrate and to share in this life. Just continue to pray my strength in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God tonight. I'm Evangelist Lewin. Evangelist Lewin, one second. When, I'm, I'm so sorry, but we're not going to take anyone else. Please, just be nice and be kind. And Oh, this gentleman. What's your, how are you? So, all right, so, all right. Yeah, yeah, for those of who are standing there and, and we're done, all right. You want to say something to me? Rita, 100 dumpling. Yeah. <laughs> all right, go ahead, evangelist. No, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. I was baptized right here, and you know. I had to be here tonight. There's nothing could have stopped me from being here. In the festive season that everybody needs gifts and all these things, I closed my business to be here because I remember over 25 years ago when I heard a voice talking to me in my room and I'm trying to wonder who was talking to me. There was no one, but I heard a voice say, you need to get ready for church. And I started to prepare myself. I run out the street and I asked somebody, where can I find a dressmaker? But I still don't know the church that I'm going to because I'm still trying to find out who was talking to me. And I remember the Sunday morning I had a pink dress. I made a pink dress with a long split. Many persons would have remembered. And I was at home with the dress. Don't know where I'm going. But I remember one Sunday morning. That Sunday morning I heard a voice shake me and say, this is a church to go. And I'm looking around still because... I have my room by myself, so I'm wondering who is talking to me. But right there and then I hear the Blessing Plan Ministry of Jesus Christ, 11 Elgin Road, you can call 948-69. And I get up and I call the number. And when I call, I get either, I think it was Nigel or somebody. But I got somebody. And I said, um, the church, 
But little did I know that while I was coming to the school, the nursing school where Nurse Burke was my teacher, I didn't even know that there was a church here because I was so busy coming to school, running to work, back and forth, and all these things. But tonight I'm saying my foundation is what it is, what it is or whatever it is, all because of Reverend VB. I, I remember when I wanted to lock my hair, he said, uh-uh, no locking. And I just held that. And my principles, my foundation, everything was what Reverend VB instilled in me. And I'm just giving God thanks, you know. When my father woman threw me out and everything was all going wrong, Bishop said, don't worry, if he had just fruits, he would have shared it with me. And I'm just giving God thanks tonight because he helped me to be who am I today. Amen. And I stand. I stand. Amen. I may not like all the things that I'm seeing in the churches these days, but I'm saying, God, I thank you for the foundation that I had, the foundation that I have, the foundation that I received. I said to somebody, if you didn't save many years ago, you're not saved right now because the things that are happening right now, it is nothing compared to what we know then. And I'm thanking God. God bless. God bless. God bless Amen. his soul. God bless you all in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. You remember that song? There's something about the morning sun. The days become blue. Beautiful voice. Remind me to appreciate the mystery of you. To see the birds are in the skies, I often wonder why. We took too much for granted, we're too blind to see the view. Sometimes I lose my ways, just existing every day. Drifting away from where my heart belongs, when my heart belongs to you. from I was five years old. At five, I was baptized and I am so happy that he was there. I am happy that I gave God thanks for the four years I knew him. His favorite song I sing was This Means War. I remember when I sing that song, Bishop he was dancing, singing, and smiling. I know right now he is in paradise. I am doing my competition for him. I am going to make him proud in heaven. I love you, my handsome and faithful bishop. Oh, that's beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what you call Hallelujah. short and spices. Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just want to give God thanks tonight for the life of my bishop, mentor, father, Reverend Vivian Burke. I got baptized when I was 11 years old in 1971. He has been there with me through, I have, and I have been here all that time. I'm Ruthlyn Alberts from 11 Elgin Road. He has been a father, a mentor. He would call, when, at times when I am not at church, when he doesn't see me in the service, I will be sure to hear a, a call one day, and he would say, Ruthless, or are you ruthless? 
<laughs> and I would say, no, Bishop, I'm not ruthless. And I would be at service next Sunday. And this has been for that entire 50 years that I have been here serving the Lord. I just want to give God thanks for oh, him. I know he's not going to be here to call me anymore. The onus is on me to make the change. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Praise him. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Lord, give me strength that I don't cry. Let me greet you all. Let me greet my Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ. So, everyone, whole soul of faith, Pastor Grace, acknowledge. I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. I too can say, coming up from North Parade, I baptized in 1979, approximately 45 years. I remember when I was going down King Street and searching for a place, I heard the hand, hands clapping, foot stamping, and when I asked who was he, he said it was Robert VB. I said, they want me here on the radio? The person said yes. From that day on, I followed him to the park where they have that wonderful crusade, and I went with them up, upstairs, 15 North Parade. He said to me, you want to be baptized? I said, but I want to do it at the river, sir. And he said, why? I want my sin to run away, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. However, though, by, by the grace of God, from that day on, yeah. I baptized the 29th of July, 1979. Thank God for the, that God yeah. lead me to the right persons. Pastor Grace Burke, Bishop Vivian Burke, and the rest of the church. May God bless his soul. God bless you, Pastor Burke. God bless you. God bless Thank you. you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord. Praise God. I'm going to just sing just a few lines of this song. Draw me close. <laughs> Draw me close to you. Never let me go Feel the warmth ring down my face To hear you To hear you say Warmth of your embrace Help me find Help me find Lead me back to you. Blessing plan ministry had impacted so many lives Amen. worldwide and bring many souls to Jesus Christ. We thank him for his guidance towards us as a father, a teacher, a preacher, a brother, and also a shepherd of this flock. 
who watches over our soul. He was a great man of God. He was a great man of the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Who believed in no other gospel but the gospel of Jesus Christ. I know he is gone to be with the Lord. May his legacy in this church and in my life lives on for generations to come. I am Brother Ricketts from 11 Elgin Road. Praise the Lord. God bless us all. God bless you. All right, we're going to take Sister Rita, and then I'm going to ask you all to stand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Glory. Thank God. Thank God for Bishop Burke. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for Bishop Burke. No care your dunks, no care your head tough, no care your slow. When you reach in a day, when you fasting, you have to go home with something. I, you have to go home with something. No care your slow, your dunks, you have to go home with something because when I'm done, yeah. you have to get something. I because. You can't go around him with no little foolishness because he not take that. Yeah, you have to just listen and work out the match. And then you know, say, you go home with something. Right, I tell you. You know, say, I never know, say, I saw me love him till him gone. Jesus. Me used to come out on the road down where we live. Because the sun drive used to come a morning time and come in my office. And I used to come out a morning time so in the road. When I look down and see the big red van come, I come out and I stand up so in the road. And he spot me, you know. And he pick up speed, he start press gas and I blow. Pop, 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 pop. I'm just out of the road, so I when I look through the wave mirror glass, he my dead with laugh. You know? But me know me go see him. Me know say, yeah. Rita know say, yeah. she a go see him, yeah. and me must see him, and me have to see him. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Jesus. Bless the Lord, everybody. Praise In the interest of time, I'll just say all protocols observed. This is a message that I got from my neighbor, and he was, he's 83, I believe, Mr. Green, oh, for yeah. those of us who know him. And he was adamant that I read this for him. He says, I regard being offered the privilege and honor to express my respect and appreciation for your late father, Reverend VB, on the occasion, this occasion. I however ask you to deliver my presentation on my behalf for primarily two reasons pending eye surgery and to challenged mobility. However, it would be remiss of me not to express recollection of our association, his and mine. Most significant is the fact that both our families took up residence in Edgewater as next door neighbors the same week in 1972, as over 50 years ago, and have truly enjoyed a mutual cordial and respectful relationship overall these many years. His disposition over the entire time is one that most only dream about, always greeting with a warm and welcoming smile, never loud, never a frown. This is what I regard as a charismatic personality, which always greeted me over the years. Notwithstanding our ages and failing health, when we seldom met and spoke, his tone and smile were not dismissed. We all came here for a time and purpose. His was well served. May his soul rest in peace. Mr. Gilbert Green, God bless you.
Beautiful. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This has been a beautiful night. Hallelujah. And I just want to recognize sweet lady, Pet. <laughs> I know she thought she would never hear that name again, right? We're going to continue to pray for the family. Minister Hemmings. Minister Burke. Where are the grandchildren? Stand. Yeah. All the beautiful grandchildren. Elder Burke. Andre Burke. His beautiful wife is here to support him. His wonderful sister, Monica Stewart. The nieces, Suzette and Shelly Ann. And would you believe it, his only nephew, Pastor Richard Stewart. And all other families, especially the family of the church. Who we are really going, I mean, coming here and not seeing Bishop did something to me. And just to know that he's not here. But when you talk about purpose, being served. I mean, it's like, how much more could he have served? And so what the Lord has done, and I was listening to everybody saying how he took them home, and now the Lord has taken him home. And I have no other thought but to know that he is at peace. And we bless the Lord for him. I'm going to ask you this, that one of the things that I know that Bishop loved was Lord's Supper. At the end of Lord's Supper. And there is a song that we always sing. We are going to come in the middle. We are going to hold hands. Ooh. We are going to sing that song. And then we're going to greet each other. As you remember him, the man of God that he was.
to mention that he has a sister in the States. For some of you, you know her as Elaine, and some of us, we know her as Auntie Pam. She could not be here tonight, but I know she is listening, and she's crying, because she misses him dearly. McCoy to grace us as we prepare to be here tonight. God bless you, God bless you, very softly, very softly. Uh, Bishop Burke, we heard it, is a man that never rush with time. If he were here tonight, he would want this to go on till one o'clock. But some of us are hungry, some of us want to eat, some want to sleep. But I bring all the greetings to you today. I'm going to give you a benediction, but at the same time, it's important for us to understand that we come here to celebrate the life of a giant the life of a man on whose shoulder i now stand bishop burke some of us just have the opportunity now to talk after he's gone but i'm thanking god i was able to be here in december so i told him all the good things that i wanted to tell him and he could hear me thank you jesus i'm going to just pray so we can go home and don't forget we gather assemble back here on Saturday, early morning, at 10 o'clock or before, as we celebrate, continue to celebrate and send off this giant of a man. Our help is in the name of the Lord who abolished death and brought life and immortality through the gospel. Eternal God and our Father, Jesus Christ, we thank you for this day that you have made and you brought us here together to celebrate the life of your son our friend and our brother vivian burke we thank you god for the life and the time you have lent him to us we thank you for the many contributions he has made to the body of christ throughout the world and we listen to all these great testimonies tonight god as we leave this place to go to a several place of abode we pray that we can meditate upon his life and be blessed even at this time God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, I continue to pray for this family. Pastor Burke, her children, grandchildren, as they go through this time, God, I'm not telling them not to, to mourn, but God, we know they will lose and they have lost the fellowship of a friend and a brother and a father and a husband. We pray you throw your loving arms around them and as Bishop would comfort the, the word of God, Throw your arms around them and comfort them as only you can. The church family here, God, as they stand, we pray that they will continue to go forward in the word of God as you as taught them. Bless and sanctify your action now in loving God and of us, every single one of us, to bow to the sovereign will of the Almighty God. As Bishop Cana said, God, we are now to let him go. So God, into your capable hands, we commend the spirit of your son in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We're going to greet each other. And now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. And to present us faultless before the prince was going with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior, 
be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Love, wonderful love. to know that viewing begins at 8 and it will go until 10 and that's when the service begins okay so if you are that person that would like to view it's gonna start at 8 and goes until 10 we're gonna ask you please we have two assigned parking areas on Saturday the parking area that's across the road here it's gonna be assigned for family members, the hospitality team members, members of government officials, media personnel, clergy, okay, and disabled, parking right across here. The rest of us will be parking by Carib Theater Parking, that's up the road. We will have shuttle buses that will take you down here and everything starts as you enter through.